It's Dominique, and welcome to this game overview of Catapult Feud, a board game produced by Vesuvius Media, created by Christian Fosch. Catapult Feud is a family-friendly two-player game that had us playing again and again. In the game, two players devise a castle design to protect their troops from the enemy catapult. The goal is to knock down all of your opponent's troops, so the first person to use their catapult to down all five of their opponent's troops is the winner. To set up, each player gets a board, a catapult, five troops, a distance marker, and a total of 17 bricks that include these gates to make their castle. The box and instructions claim that there are also some elastics that come with the game. Uh, however, our box didn't have any, so we just found some in our drunk door to use. However, we did test them before starting play just to make sure we weren't going to poke anybody's eye out. To arm the catapult, you're going to wrap the elastic around the structure like this and definitely do some test shots just to get a feel for their range. The instructions suggest that players set up about a meter and a half or five feet apart. To build their castles, players must follow just a few rules. So you need to use all of the bricks, the castles must be contained within the player board, and the bricks all have to be laid flat, they can't be tilted. Troops need to be on the player board, but otherwise they can be anywhere on the castle. If a troop isn't on the castle itself or on a brick, they need to be at least a distance of one away from all the other bricks. Next, the players place their catapult on one side of their board. Either side, it doesn't matter, and throughout the game, you're allowed to change it. You just need to use the distance marker to make sure that the catapult is no more than a distance of two from the player board. Each player can start off with four boulders and six action cards, so one of each type of card. These action cards allow you to make tactical moves, such as firing two boulders back to back, or defensive moves, such as replacing three bricks. Each player's card should be shuffled and placed face down in their play area. They start the game with three cards in their hand and then they pick up more cards each time one of their troops gets knocked over. Not gonna lie, we were a little skeptical at first playing this game because it's not something we normally would have picked, but we really had a blast playing this game. Uh, since it's only a two-player game, we played it kind of tournament style with the winner kind of proceeding on to the next round. And even when you weren't playing, it was really fun to watch people play the game, watch and see how it goes. And the other people that weren't playing also ended up running around and kind of gathering up the boulders just to help the players out. Another thing about the game that's really awesome is the construction of the pieces. Like the boulders and the bricks are really well balanced to make the destruction of the castles not too easy, but it's not too hard either. The action cards also added some great flair to the game. We especially liked the traitor cards that allows the player to kind of shoot their opponent's catapult and the twin attack that allows you to copy a previously played card. Perhaps the most fun is kind of the replayability of the game. So you can really try out new castle designs, test out new troop placements. And we also ended up kind of making our own house rules about building castles to make it more fun. We would always set a box up as a barrier kind of between the castles as we were building just to hide our strategy before the game began. Overall, we are really delighted by this game and it's such a great way to play to get the family playing a game together. It's really great for all ages and really great for cooperative play as well. Our box experts could not get enough of the box and especially liked the pieces. We aren't really surprised. The game is called Cat to Pult Feud after all. If you're interested in picking up your copy of Catapult Feud or any other awesome board games, check out the Comic Hunter website to place your order. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know below what your castle building strategy would be. See you next time!